Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fazan Khan and in this video I'll show you uh, the working of my new project library management system. This project is built using Python, Dkinter and MySQL database. So let's get started. So this is the login page as you can see and if you are new you have to register. So firstly we'll uh, register admin. And here we will fill up the username, email, password and confirm password. So let's quickly do that. Make sure you enter the correct email address here. And the confirm password. Now you can click on this register. Admin registered successfully. You can now log in. Okay. So after you are done with the registration you can go to your gmail and you will check this welcome to library management system email okay so it says account created successfully hello faz welcome to our library management system your admin account has been created successfully and this is the username this is the email and this is the role best regards library management system team okay so this is how you'll receive the email uh, whenever you will uh, create a admin account now we can use the same username and the same password to log in and once you log in you'll see this admin dashboard here here uh, this will uh, display total books so currently there are no books so that's why we are seeing zero here similarly total members will see here uh, books issued okay so whatever books will be issued so we'll see uh, those many numbers here and then overdue books so if the date has passed and the member has not uh, returned the book so we'll see that count here okay so currently we don't have data in the database that's why these values are set to zero but let me quickly add some data so that you can see the change here so after inserting some data in the database you can see total books count is 5 total members are 3 books issued are 4 and overdue books are 2 and then this is the recent activities here you can see recently issued books right so book title member name who has uh, issued the books and who has issued these books so faz has issued that's me okay and the issue date is mentioned here okay and at the top you will see uh, whoever will log in so that name you will see here so welcome fast admin right and this uh, section will show you uh, the date and the time okay and then we have the logout button just to log out so let's go to books so here you see these books i have added just now okay uh, so we have the title author category isbn total okay then available so this is nothing but the total quantity and then this is these are the available quantities right <clears throat> and then this is the publisher name and then publication year is there and then when we added it right so to add a book you just need to click on this add book and just fill up these uh, details and save book. okay and if you have to edit any information just select it and click on edit book this will fill up the details and you just need to uh, edit any information and just click on update book okay so you see uh, it's updated then if you wish to delete just select and delete okay suppose this one are you sure you want to delete python for beginners this action cannot be undone yes cannot delete book when copies are currently issued so if the copies are issued then you won't be able to delete them all right You can also search books using the book name or the author name or using the ISBN number. This is the unique number. Okay, so let's search it using the title. So, like modern Tkinter. So, uh, if you'll type half, it will suggest you. Okay, similarly, Python. Okay, similarly, you can search using uh, the ISBN number, right? Or using the author name like this. 
and then if you go to members these are the members who uh, requires the book right who will issue the book or who will return the book right so these three i have added just for the demo purpose so if you want to add a new member just click on add member fill up these details name email phone address and save member right and if you wish to edit any details just select and click on edit member okay just uh, change the detail and click on update member okay so member is updated similarly you can delete member i hope this is clear and then here also you have search so you can search suppose if you want to search coding lifestyle you can search like this then <coughs> you can go to issue slash return and from here you can issue books to member okay so just select a book so from here you can select the books uh, and the availability is also shown here so uh, python for beginners i'll select this one and then select a member who needs a book so i'll just select a member and then due days uh, after how many days he will return the book and then click on issue book so this member already has this book issued and not yet returned right so this book is already issued to this member and he hasn't returned so that's why you cannot uh, reissue the same book so if you'll go to uh, this return book here you will see the data okay so the red highlighted ones you will see it's overdue okay and here you can see python for beginners is already issued to member Kazan Khan right so once you return the selected book So once the book is returned, now you will be able to issue the book for the same member. So you can select Python for beginners, you can select the member, uh, due days, 40 issue book. So now book is issued successfully. Okay, and you will be able to see it here. Then you can go to currently issued and here you will see some interesting data. So book title, author, member name, issued by, issue date, due date, uh, return date when <clears throat> the book is returned and then accordingly the fine for the overdue is calculated here okay so it is uh, 5 rupees per day so accordingly the fine is calculated okay and you can see the status so some books are returned some are currently issued some are overdue means the time has passed due date has passed i hope this is clear and then uh, send overdue reminders so this uh, overdue reminders will be sent uh, to only the overdue uh, members who has uh, uh, issued the books right so if i click on it send email reminders to all overdue members yes so you can see successfully sent to overdue reminders okay so if you check these two emails Here you are getting overdue book reminder okay machine learning 101 so this is the message hello test uh, user this is a friendly reminder that the following book is overdue okay everything is mentioned here please return or renew this book as soon as possible to avoid additional fines right so this way uh, the reminder emails will be sent and similarly you can check for the other user so uh, networking essentials book is issued to this person and a uh, similar kind of message is sent here as well okay so fine due uh, days overdue due date title everything is mentioned here i hope this is clear so from here uh, you can issue the book then from here you can return the book and from here uh, you can check the status fine and all these things and then you can send overdue reminders as well okay then if you go to librarians so from here you will be able to add librarian okay so if i add a librarian here so uh, i'm using this email just to show you that we will be receiving a message there on the email okay when uh, your account will be created either you can enter a temporary password or you can generate a password so if you'll generate a password a random password will be generated okay and that will be sent on your email okay 
so you can generate random password or the admin can add a temporary password for you okay so generate a password just click on it okay a password is generated for you now click on create account so librarian account is created okay and here you can see username email created date last login never and status is active okay if you deactivate it so then uh, librarian one will never be able to log in right and you can also reset the password if you wish to reset the password click on reset password and uh, reset password for librarian one a uh, new temporary password will be generated and sent via email right so you can reset the password like this let me show you so this is uh, account created successfully hi librarian one welcome to our library management system your librarian account has been created successfully so this is the username and this is the temporary password okay and the account details are mentioned so here you will see library statistics uh, total books 5 total members 3 currently issued 2 overdue books 2 then uh, recent activity summary so this month uh, total issues are 5 uh, returns this month are 3 uh, then new members this month is 0 because if you see members here uh, these members are uh, not of this month right so that's why we are seeing 0 here so if I add a new member recently then we'll see 1 here okay then what is this net activity this is nothing but the difference of issues this month and returns this month okay so 5 minus 3 is 2 if this value is positive it means more books are going out and if it is negative then more books are returned okay then we can generate reports so uh, this will provide us the excel file so if you want to have the data for all books so just click on this all books report then if you want data for members uh, similarly if you want data for issued books then overdue books okay so let me show you for all books report so once you will click on it uh, it will ask you where you want to save it i'll save it on my desktop just click on save so if it is already exist do you want to replace it yes so the book is saved so here on my desktop i have this books report if i open it you will see every uh, detail related with the book okay now let's log in as a librarian so i'll just log out from here and now uh, let's enter the username and the password that we received on the email so this is the username and then this is the password so once you log in as a librarian uh, you will see total books count active members count book issued overdue books uh, then books issued today uh, then books returned today right and the recent transactions okay here you will see actions with the returned issued right and the book title and the member name right and you will see the date here uh, if this list is very long so what you can do you can just type something here like for example if I just want a machine learning so I'll just uh, for simplicity I'll just type machine and will get in the drop down that value similarly uh, member name okay and then due days and then issue book is issue machine learning 101 to Fazan Khan for 14 days yes so book issued successfully okay so once this book is issued uh, you will see that uh, result here okay uh, and if uh, the member wants to return it just uh, click on this return selected and this book is now returned okay after that uh, you will also be able to add new books if you want just like the admin okay fill up these details and you will be able to add it so all uh, this information is shown here then uh, members so these three are the members if you want you can add more members if you want to see member details you can click on this member details and you will see member information here 
currently issued books if any okay so currently uh, this member uh, doesn't have any books so it's zero right then uh, borrowing history you will see here that how many books this person has borrowed or returned so far okay okay so one is returned but one is overdue so this uh, information you will see here so in my activity here you will see my statistics so uh, total books issued one this month one today one right and then my recent activity okay so you have issued uh, this book so if you'll uh, log in as a librarian too so librarian too will see their own recent activity so whatever they will do i hope you are getting me so each librarian will see their own recent activities so yeah that's it for this project i hope you liked it the source code is in the description let me know if you have any doubts thank you for watching